The piles are growing in the house's stitches, all green and gold. They've hand-stitched and they've hand-stitched humble broncos. Shop owner Wendy Toy put out a call for quilts when she heard about the bus crash. It just is a natural thing to do because quilts give comfort. The response, unimaginable. Everybody's just hurt. But this has, doing the quilt thing has really helped all of us to heal by doing something. It can take a full day to finish sewing. More than 100 quilts came in from across the country two days after Toy's request. This one is from North Bay, Ontario. This one is from Kingston, Ontario. Along with messages of support. I hope this quilt will bring help to someone who needs a hug and know that they are loved and appreciated. I just cut them like this and uh, yeah, just pin them. Every inch of yellow and green ribbon from Toy's shop is going to use two. We just wanted to do something to honor them. We've lived here all our life. The Plague family is donating their time to make and sell these. She was putting her ribbons away downstairs and she had made something for the fig, for the figure skating club and then she thought, you know, maybe we should make some more ribbons for, for the Broncos. All proceeds go towards the families of victims and survivors. They've had requests for the Remembrance ribbons as far as Tokyo. To date we've made over 5,000 ribbons, so yeah. It's been phenomenal. Back at the House of Stitches, the work continues. This one was brought um, and it was requested that it go to a firefighter. Um, some people want them to go to the EMTs. The so plan is to give quilts to everyone who responded to the deadly collision. That means Toy will need 500, a number she thinks she can reach easily. Doing the quilt thing has really helped all of us to heal by doing something. You know, it's taken that rock in the pit of our stomachs away a little bit. A way to turn grief into something tangible. Olvia Stefanovic, CBC News, Humboldt.